Hello. All right. I don't know what's happening here. I can see you, but I can't hear you. Um, not sure what's happening here. There we go. Okay. Are you there? Is that better? Okay. I think we're better now. Okay, cool. good. I'll take my glasses off. All right. So your cyber swipe. Yes, sir. Okay. So good. Why don't we do this? Let's start. You give, give me your name. And, um, and then, uh, give, you know, I know you're going to tell me all about it, but just so we can get some people lined up uh, out there right now, um, I just want to just give a quick little background of what we're up to here today. So uh, the, and I got a little bit of reflection behind me, so I'm trying to get rid of that. Uh, hold on a second. Let me just get rid of those lights. I think that's better. Okay, there we go. All set. So I just want to say, Nice to meet you via Pitch Investors Live. And uh, we are live on the internet right now. Um, sometimes we have hundreds, um, the, um, and sometimes we have thousands. And the other thing is, is it isn't just what happens right now. This is being taped and this will be running, you know, on the internet because we sometimes boost it out there there's many, many people out there. Pitch Investors Live is, a, is an app that allows folks that want to pitch their idea, their business, uh, their invention, their crypto business, whatever it might be, to live investors. And um, we've had some amazing things happen. Just got a, a, an amazing testimonial from a company that got funded just the other day from somebody that was watching one of the pitches, actually, which is pretty cool. So, um, so anyway, um, thank you for, for being here today. And for anyone else that's listening, thanks for being part of Pitch Investors Live, one of the, the latest and greatest things on the internet to help investors uh, meet great opportunities. And for, for folks that are just getting a business started, kicked off, launched, or maybe a second round of seed funding, uh, it's a great opportunity to put you into the right hand. So I'm going to you know, give everybody your name, your business, and then take, go ahead and do your pitch, and we'll have some Q&A from there. Cool. Okay. And actually, before I start, I just wanted to give a shout out to uh, Matt and Jonathan at Pitch. You guys are doing a great job. I've been following you guys for a long time, and uh, it's really impressive to see how fast the platform's grown, and I really appreciate the opportunity to be a part of uh, Pitch Investors Live. Hey, thanks. So, uh, Good job. Yeah, so my, uh, my name is uh, Matt Smith, and the, uh, the company is CyberSwipe. Uh, we're based out of Dallas, Texas, and really what we're doing with CyberSwipe is we're making cryptocurrencies and, and, and blockchain specifically uh, easy to use for transactions um, at the consumer level and the business level. Um, so the way that we're able to do that is uh, we've essentially accomplished uh, in our own way uh, the fundamental obstacles with getting cryptocurrency involved on the consumer space, on the consumer level, which is speed. Uh, we've handled speed of cryptocurrency transactions to where they're faster, if not um, the same speeds as credit cards, debit cards um, at your favorite merchants, your favorite vendors. And then on the business commercial side, we have standardized smart contracts on Ethereum's blockchain so that any business can enter into a blockchain digital transaction with anyone around the world um, for uh, an asset, a good or a service. So, so uh, yeah. So uh, the, and I'm going to ask you about the technical side in a minute, but just to yeah, make of sure course. that I understand, like, obviously as a, as a, um, um, a digital entrepreneur, as seen on TV entrepreneur uh, and, in coming out of the, the, the B to C commerce business for 35 years, uh, one of the concerns that I've had about Bitcoin was where can you use it to purchase products uh, and the time that it takes to do the processing and also the, the, the fees that were charged. So those are several right. of the elements. So now you mentioned one aspect being a timing situation. So CyberSwipe is, has reduced the amount of time that it takes 
to purchase something with Bitcoin. Is that correct? Yes, and we're not limited to Bitcoin. It's also uh, other currencies we support are Ethereum, Litecoin, and Ripple as well. Okay, and and so so now you've you've reduced that time to be transactionally equivalent to processing a credit card, as you said. Correct. Correct. Okay, mm-hmm. and what about the fee structure? Right. So the fee structure uh, for the transactions is we process or the the charge that we. Um, or we we charge we charge a half percent fee. Sorry, I was kind of stumbling over my words here. Okay, sitting in the car right by the highway. I apologize for that. If you hear any of that noise, yeah, I'm okay. We're good. Um, so, so you charge a half a percent, mm-hmm. and and then are there any other charges that come along from from any other sources or no? So the half percent is actually uh, CyberSwipe covering um, what's known as gas fees or exchange fees, and that's done. Um, actually by uh, CyberSwipe. So um, just to kind of quickly kind of touch on that, uh, CyberSwipe is a, a financial telecommunications company. Uh, we're not a financial custodian. We're not a money transmitter. And the way that we're able to establish that is uh, through our, our service network. And our service network isn't really kind of the sexy thing to uh, tell our consumers about because it doesn't apply to them. Um, and what I mean by that is that those service uh, affiliates are what allow us to essentially provide the fast um, transmittal or exchange of crypto to fiat money, whether it's, you know, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ripple, um, or um, uh, Ethereum. Gotcha. Yeah. And so the, so, so the, tell me how this is working from a technical standpoint, what the logistics of what you guys have, have assembled. Right. So, um, What's really interesting about the technical side is that, like I said, we solved it in our own way. Uh, and essentially, the way, that, the way that we did that is we essentially are saying, OK, well, if we know it takes a long time for a Bitcoin to get from point A to point B, we essentially said, well, if we know that based on the premise of blockchain technology, where if it verifies at the first node and it verifies at the second node, if that is true, then we can also assume it to be true that that verified success, you know, for the transaction will be the same at the 10th, the 100th, the 1000th, the millionth. So what we've been able to do is we've been able to actually develop our own proprietary algorithms that essentially say, well, if we know that money is going from, say, Kevin to Starbucks, then we can give the credit or the value of that Bitcoin to Starbucks um, based on the notion that they are going to receive that credit um, after it actually fulfills the, the verification process. Now, the second part of that is say, okay, what if Starbucks wants to buy something or they want to you know, pay an employee or they want to liquidate into cash? Um, we have a second algorithm that essentially follows the data from the first algorithm, kind of the tracking um, of the coin and the blockchain, um, and essentially says, okay, well, if Starbucks now plays with their perceived value that's um, backed by real value of the Bitcoin, um, then we're going to reroute where that Bitcoin is actually going. So it will reroute it to an exchange to be liquidated into cash to then go into Starbucks's, you know, Wells Fargo account or Bank of America account, whatever it is. Yeah. Or um, if they want to send that Bitcoin to an employee or, or, or to another, you know, company for product or for supplies or whatever it is. Gotcha. So that's how essentially we, we have accomplished that, that speed um, part of the so, transaction. So, so what you're saying is, that it may take 20 minutes if you're really doing the transaction between the Bitcoin and Starbucks, but you guys come in almost like an arbitrage and, yeah. and, and take the position that, okay, we know Starbucks for real, but how do you know that Kevin has, let's say I'm buying a thousand dollars, something or other. How do you know I have a thousand dollars in Bitcoin? Very good question. Uh, so this is another part of CyberSwipe that makes it very special on the consumer side. Um, so one of the big problems that I identified was that everyone's trying to get people with Bitcoin or with Ripple or with Ethereum or Litecoin or whatever Dash to spend it. Well, what about people that don't don't have it, right? You know, what about what's what's the what's the the reason for a merchant to want a crypto anyway? Well, it's because um, you know, obviously, there's a lot of benefits to using blockchain and crypto, cost effectiveness, speed, um, the redundancy of paperwork, the whole nine yards. So what happens is if you have no Bitcoin, for example, then the platform is going to go to its second payment process, 
because what happens is if it goes, okay, Kevin wants to pay Starbucks with Bitcoin, it's going to search for Bitcoin in your wallet. If you don't have any, it says, okay, well, then we're just going to pay Starbucks with Bitcoin Kevin doesn't have. And how we do that is through our affiliates and through the fact that they have the money transmittal licenses, the custodial licenses. And essentially, we operate like Venmo, where you can't actually use CyberSwipe unless you link a bank account to it. So we essentially are able, with our speed algorithms uh, for, from our patents, we can go, okay, we can go from Kevin's cash from his bank account to our affiliates who have the Bitcoin, purchase the exact amount of Bitcoin for that coffee or for that pizza or whatever it is, your groceries, and then give it to Starbucks all within a matter of, you know, a handful of seconds. Um, gotcha. so that's the really cool part. So that way um, it allows CyberSwipe to have a merchant driven strategy, very similar to the credit cards um, back way back when, where it's Amex, we're like Amex going to a merchant saying, here's why you want us because we can give you a wider access to, to customers for one who have Bitcoin. And for two, you can have more competitive prices for people who might not care about Bitcoin, but now they can, they can give you Bitcoin and, but they're spending cash. Does that make sense? Right. So we're actually yeah, able to it. apply our product to two different demographics of people, you know, whether it's in North America or Europe, you know, you're crypto savvy and you're not so crypto savvy. But for us, it's a so, strategy, I mean, so, so it doesn't matter. So now I, 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 you're, you're, you're talking Kevin and Starbucks. I don't see any risk in either situation. Uh, let's talk some criminals from Russia or somewhere. Let's not single out Russia, but you know, criminals are everywhere. Right. Uh, but some cybersecurity thieves that set up a company. I mean, right away, my mind goes towards how, you know, how do the fraud fraudsters come in and take advantage of ordering a bunch of stuff that comes through? You know, emerge. You know, like it's the same kind of thing that a Stripe or whatever would would run into right. in terms of fraud you know, go run a hundred grand worth of charges through and take the money and run, so to speak. Have you, I mean, even Stripe is having these issues. Right. Of course, they're billions of dollars in value, but how do you prevent fraud and that kind of thing? So that's a, that's a, a very good question. Um, so on the, um, what is it? Sorry. So you brought up a very good point. Um, running up hundreds of thousands of dollars, billions of dollars of the value, and nothing gets charged. Um, that's actually a huge problem with, with what's called batching companies because for like a Starbucks or something or a Home Depot, right, they might do thousands of transactions a day, but they don't process each transaction right when it happens. They wait for the end right. of the day or they wait for you know a month to go by and then they process them all and then they actually collect all that money. Um, right. So that's that's kind of uh, how those transactions are working. So for us, this the KYC or the anti money laundering, um, we essentially aggregate all of the KYC and AML from all of our service providers. So what's cool about yeah. blockchain is I'm a purist. So it's it's a decentralized network. So CyberSwipe's designed where all of the back end service providers, whether it's for the B2C or the B2B, right, the part where there's a bank involved. Um, uh, all of the AML and KYC is done by all of them. So yeah. Swipe standardized uh, like a KYC AML process, um, which essentially is agreed upon by all of our service providers. So in that way, we're kind of like what Swift, we, we're kind of like uh, doing what Swift did um, in the 70s and in the 80s, where they essentially standardized all wire transfers through banks. And essentially, we were you know aiming to do that with exchanges. And so for them, uh, they essentially are the ones that operate the KYC and the AML. So the point where if there's a Russian gangster, for example, um, if there's a red flag for whatever reason, whether it's identity came back and it wasn't verifiable, or if a bank account came back and it wasn't verifiable, uh, then they actually cannot use the system in any way possible. Uh, they, they, can't even, okay. they can't even create an account or register. Okay. So, so now, I mean, first of all, uh, as a marketer, I love, you know, that, that somebody like yourself has come up with a, a way to um, arbitrage this world of, of crypto to be able to buy products because it's, it, it, it is, it's been one of the challenges in, in my mind in, in that, you know, how quick can you do it? So, yeah. I mean, have you, can, can you actually even, what about 
getting into an ATM situation? Have, it, would, would cyber swipe work where you guys would, someone goes to an ATM, they don't want to wait 20 minutes to get their cash. Right. Would, would, would you guys be able to do something like that? Um, you know, to tell you the truth, I haven't looked into the ATMs because I know they exist. Um, and for me, I was really interested in kind of going towards uh, kind of like daily retail. But um, there's the possibility that it would have worked, you know, off the top of my head, and I'm not going to BS you. Um, I'd have to think of a way for us to be able to actually produce, you know, because when I think of ATM, I think of like having to produce the hardware for it, have to go place it, you know, a couple thousand units in a city. Um, so that well, really yeah, I, mean, I think you could go into existing ATMs. Um, okay. In fact, I'm, I'm involved with an ATM network that would potentially would be interesting to have a cyber swipe kind of add on to it. Gotcha. See, and what's that? That's cool about that. I actually kind of like uh, when you're kind of where, where your head's at with that, because really when we're looking at building the brand of, of cyber swipe, um, you know, we've been speaking to a couple marketers and, and, and branders here in Dallas Um and, uh, you know, we're really what we're trying to do is kind of put ourselves in that same sort of category when, you know, Visa and MasterCard or when Amex was going out and trying to convince the world to use plastic, you know, convince merchants to use credit, uh, you know, the point of purchase terminals and all that kind of stuff. And we're kind of looking to do the same thing. So that really falls right in line with kind of the persona um, we're looking to fill out. So that'd be that'd be pretty interesting. Great. Okay, so how you guys have uh, funded this yourself so far? Where where are you on funding? How much are you looking for? So I personally have funded it uh, myself. Uh, there's uh, just right under half a million dollars in the company. Um, we've uh, done all of our IP. Uh, did that about a year and a half ago, almost two years ago actually. And right now we're looking for um, three million dollars to actually really scale this thing and to really grow this thing. Um, uh, all the money that we're looking for is going directly into the brand and being put on the map because, and I'm sure that you've seen this, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are trying to, uh, solve this problem uh, and not only solve this problem, but there are a lot of people claiming they have solved this problem. Um, and really to my knowledge, there hasn't been enough people that are executing upon what they're saying. Um, and we're really trying to manifest cyber swipe out into the, uh, the real world now. So everything that we're doing is all about branding and scaling and marketing. Okay, so the half a million you've spent um, has gone uh, into. I mean, is it? Do you have a? Is it prototypical now? Does it work? Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, yeah, the uh, so um, uh, the B two B platform is uh, has been live for a month, uh, so we've been marketing that for a month. And the the B two C side, which you were saying about the ATMs, consumer uh, daily consumption. Um, that is entirely done and we've beta tested it and piloted it at a, at a local bar here in Dallas, actually. Um, and, uh, we're, okay. we're, we're ready to deploy that, uh, quarter one of 2019. Uh, but all the money spent so far has been into development, um, as well as, uh, maintenance for the platform and security on the platform. So we don't lose it in the meantime. Okay, great. All right, so do you, you have a, a business plan, a DAC, and all of that kind of stuff? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Um, I'd love for you to send it to me, and um, we do – I have a venture with the Zig Ziglar family in Dallas, so I oh, get wow. down there quite a bit. You're in Dallas. I'm in St. Pete, Florida, but okay. it's – this This is, um, you know, as a – I've processed literally billions of dollars in credit cards over okay. the years. And so people have come to me in the world of Bitcoin and talked about the processing side of things. But, you know, the challenge has been the things we've discussed here today. So right. I think CyberSwipe, you know, I could if, 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 if we get things up and running, we could make some amazing introductions to people that if they started advertising, hey, we think, you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum and this and that, it could be pretty powerful stuff. So. I'd like to uh, definitely uh, take this to the next level. And hopefully folks that are out there listening right now um, would also have some input and can connect with you directly through Pitch Investors Live. Yeah. So, um, so I, I wanna, wanna thank you for your presentation. Look forward to getting your, your PowerPoint, your deck. And, and, and definitely uh, I would say it's, you know, it, it, there's definitely an interest on my side 
I definitely have background in this world. Um, I just, I need to understand the, the, the biggest thing is the fraud protection. 100%. Uh, because I just know the minute we turn this system on, we could literally be doing millions of dollars a day in processing. Right. So, um, and if, 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 if 5% is, a, is, is, is bad, is, you know, bad debt, you know, if you're doing a million a day, that's 50 grand a day, you could be getting ripped off. Yeah. But it, by the end of the month, you know, you could have uh, $1.5 million yeah. out the door if you don't have the systems in place. So, so these are some of the things that I come thinking about right away. So 100%. hopefully we can check all that out and, um, and, and take it to the next step. So thanks, buddy. Cool. Appreciate you being here. Today. Yeah, likewise. I really appreciate the time. And uh, I'm originally from South Florida, Coral Gables area. So, uh, Oh, okay, good. Yeah, very cool. I love it. Well, good. And thanks for coming to Pitch Investors Live. And for anyone out there uh, that's heard this presentation, um, check us out. Make sure uh, that you uh, uh, forward this to anybody that you think might have some interest. And uh, we'll see if we can help pull some money together to take CyberSwipe to the next level. Cool. Sounds good. Take care. All right. You too. Thanks, man. All right. Bye. bye. See you.